Okay, we're going to talk real quick about corrosive versus viral damage because I recently saw a video from Orblade and there was something that was really questionable about it. So in his video, he basically said something along the lines of if your weapon requires the use of damage over time, then using viral damage makes a lot more sense. Otherwise, if you're using that weapon just as pure damage, going for corrosive damage is the best idea. And then he followed it up by a demonstration against a corrupted heavy gunner. So. Basically, his demonstration is like me using the Sinoid Gamma Core against this corrupted heavy gunner, like so. And we're gonna aim for the head. Now, notice that we're getting viral procs on this corrupted heavy gunner, but I can't really kill this corrupted heavy gunner with a magazine of my Sinoid Gamma Core. Fine, okay, that's no problem. Let's kill it, let's go to the arsenal. And for those who are wondering, this is the build that I'm just using. There's nothing behind me in the way of the X-List mod, so, you know, labor agility, uh, lethal, these are all stock standard, and then, you know, there's your radiation, and there's your viral. Awesome. We do the exact same thing, but now corrosive blast, so that we have the same amount of status chance and all that jazz. Awesome. Okie dokie. Going up against a corrupted heavy gunner again. Aiming for the head. You'll notice that... Just before, actually, the magazine of my Sinoid Gamma Core actually ended, we killed that Corrupted Heavy Gunner, no problem. So, based on that, Orblade then concludes that if you're going to use Corrosive, it's going to be better than Viral. That's just one problem. As we may know by now, your Corrupted Heavy Gunner actually takes extra damage from Corrosive damage. And that extra damage is going against its armor which tends to be a lot stronger than using viral damage, which does extra damage against its health. That's the problem. So, what is the actual answer? Well, to do that, we're actually going to be comparing the viral procs, 10 viral procs, to 10 corrosive procs. We're not actually going to be using we're not actually going to be using the uh, Kuva Brahma. Instead, we're going to be using my Paris Prime. Again, the exact same Paris Prime, the Platinum Arrow that I have been always using, I have used so many times. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Same Corrupted Heavy Gunner. What we're going to do is we're going to code it in 10 Corrosive Procs. Then aiming for the head, we do 79,000 damage. One more time. Let's see how much damage we do again. Oops, this time 9. 59,000 damage. Okay, so clearly going off by one uh, Corrosive Stack is a huge deal. So if we swap to the viral build, remembering the uh, 79,000 off an orange crit from the Paris Prime after we coded in status chance, let's see now how much damage we can do with our Paris Prime. Amy for the head, 74,000. So was that more or was that less? I genuinely cannot remember. Okay. So for me, I'm going to do this one more time. So remembering 74,000 on the orange crit. Okay, there's our 10. 73,000. So yeah, going corrosive build on my Sinogama Core to coat an enemy with 10 uh, corrosive procs because those corrosive procs only uh, remove up to 80% of the uh, corrupted heavy on his armor. Clearly then the arrow does less damage than just doing like plus 550 damage, plus 550% damage rather from viral. Now using the same corrosive build, we're gonna be going up against a level 100. 90,000 on the orange proc, awesome. Or 90,000 90, on an orange crit, awesome. If we jump to our uh, viral build now, remember 90,000 on the orange Proc, uh, orange crit. Can't speak at all. I'm tired. We now have our 10 viral procs, and that's 94,000. And basically, that is the pattern. Unless you're going up against like level 160s on a near constant basis, uh, viral procs typically outperform corrosive procs. And that's just against corrupted heavy gunners. If we were to obviously go up against something that doesn't have any shields, like uh, your Hecate. I think I'm I'm really just demonstrating the obvious right now. So the magnetic proc, we're going to ignore that. And the viral proc does 94,000. Okay? Awesome. Whereas 
a corrosive prop because obviously they don't have any armor, they're going to perf uh, the Paris Prime rather is going to perform a lot worse. Again, because they don't have any armor. So, you know, this should be really, really obvious to anyone who knows how corrosive works. Okay. Shield gate. What was that? 60,000? 60, 60,000 on a red crit? Was it 90,000 on an orange crit before? I believe so. So we're going to do that one more time. I got red crits, which ironically enough is not good for the test. Okay, there we go. 58,000 on an orange crit. So, yeah. Um, in terms of the damage type, obviously corrosive damage is going to outperform viral damage against enemies that have ferrite armor, whereas enemies that do not have ferrite armor, well, they're either going to be on par or they're actually going to be worse. So, I guess for the final test, we're going to go up against the Bombard at level 100. Let's see how much, um, or rather how much of my um, magazine we're going to go against. Oh, this is not a good test at all. So, uh, wow, really f***ed up the video this time, Katagari. Dumbass. <laughs> Turns out they screwed up the video twice. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going up against this Corrupted Bombard again. This time we're going to be using a Viral Crit build. So as you can see, we basically kill him with about 67 uh, bullets, energy, ammo left in the chamber, in the uh, in the battery, if you will, of the Sinoid Gamma Core. 67. Uh, we're using this build right here, so we've got your two Prime mods. Uh, this is Gamma Core Vizi Purocron with extra crit chance, extra damage and all that jazz, so that's why it's really, really powerful. And like I said, we're going to be using uh, Viral Prox. Awesome, cool, fantastic. So, we're going to now swap that with... Where is it? Price of damage. Same amount of status chance, same amount of um, crit chance and all that jazz. This time against a bombard. 55 or maybe 57 energy left. Basically, corrosive damage not doing as well as viral damage against a bombard because their armor is radiation like weak. So yeah, that's the conclusion. If the enemy doesn't have ferret armor, then corrosive tends to underperform compared to viral. So, oh, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. I really wanted to fix this bit of misinformation. I think some people might be getting it wrong. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. That's what they're for. Otherwise, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.